when my wife finds out that I've been eating pegao, she's gonna have a conniption because she says that pegao makes me gain weight. And if you know what that is, put a comment below. One thing's for sure when you come to Puerto Rico, you're gonna gain weight. All right, what do I mean by that? When you come to Puerto Rico, I always end up gaining five to seven pounds. But this time, because it's Christmas, I'll probably gain up about 10 pounds. The reason is, everywhere you go, there's a lot of food. Arroz con gandules, pasteles, lechon, all that stuff. And everywhere you go, people just want to feed you. And even if you say no, it kind of means yes. And it finds its way to your plate. Always happens. Ah, and by the way, today we're going to Lares. And to keep the weight down, I try, or I do anyway, run a mile, mile and a half here at this track. My father did the uh, usual walking. We're about to have some coffee, Puerto Rican coffee, with uh, Sultana crackers. If you're Puerto Rican, you know what these are. Hey guys, I'm here at the uh, ATM. I'm gonna get a few Puerto Rican dollars. All right guys, so, this is what a Puerto Rican $20 bill looks like. That is a Puerto Rican $20 bill, in case you didn't know. All right guys, so in case some of you didn't know, and most of you do, Puerto Rico is a, is a territory of the United States. So we use uh, the same passports, the same uh, monetary system, the US dollar, uh, is what we use here in Puerto Rico. We have been for 120 years. So, when you do come to Puerto Rico, first, bring dollars. Second, an American passport, a US passport. It's not needed because traveling from Puerto Rico uh, to the States and from the States to Puerto Rico, it's like traveling from New Jersey to New York. Just your license will do, all right? I just need to mention that for some of the, uh, uh, yeah, some of my friends in the States that, uh, think they need a passport to travel to Puerto Rico. Not needed, okay? Okay, we're in Lattice now. There's the uh, beautiful church and the uh, barber shops up here. You recognize that flag? All right, guys. So Panin is about to cut my hair. Uh, I hope to look a little bit younger. And here is Panin. at the Panin. Yeah. So we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, guys, so haircut's done. I'm looking really good. All right, so here it is, Plaza de Mercado. This is where you come to uh, uh, cut your hair. He's done a great job. He did my father. He did a great job on my father. And let's go walk the plaza a little bit. All right, this is the uh, city hall. All right guys, so I'm here at the plaza in Lares, and this is a tamarindo tree. This is a fruit, and this tree has about, it's about 200 years old, and this is what the tamarindo looks like. Right on the plaza. Okay. 
Okay, so we are in Heladeria Lares and we just ordered coffee and look how nice this is. Puerto Rican coffee. ¿Qué clase de café este? Agrito. 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 Oh, Agrito. Okay. And this is Jose, by the way. He's the owner of this uh, establishment. And this is the, the coffee that they make, a grito, from right here in Lares. Claro que si. guys that coffee was really good and uh, it was so good that I bought a, uh, a bag of it and right now I'm at the uh, El Parador de Lares and uh, take a look at the view we were just up there downtown and here for some of you that may may recognize this La Tetita Lareña it's right below the Parador all right guys, I'm all the way up here and this is the uh, the parador that you can see from downtown Lares. And there's the uh, Lares flag right there. Yeah. And oh my. This is one hell of a view. No, ¿cómo te vas a marear? ¿Qué va? Esto es lo más lindo que hay. All right, we were just next to the uh, church. And that's my car down there. We have to walk up here. You can't drive up here.
All right, this is the aparador. We're down below now by the car. And that's the uh, La Tetita Lareña. It's not open right now, it's closed, but if it was open, I will be buying Tetitas.